Hi, this is Lynn Blang at For All Things Data. In today's short screencast, I'm going to try out the new DQS, or Data Quality Services Data Cleanse and Match capability that's offered in the Windows Azure Data Market from Dunn and Bradstreet and works in conjunction with SQL Server 2012. So we're probably all familiar with Dun & Bradstreet. If you're not, they are, as it says in the slide here, one of the leading sources of commercial information and insight on businesses. So they have been collecting, verifying, and making available high quality information about businesses for many, many years. It would make really good sense for them to participate in public data markets uh, like the Azure Data Market, so they're doing that. So they have one of the largest data sets out there. They've been around for 175 years. They have a global database of 215 million records, and they have their own DUNS identification system, as well as some internal verification algorithms that they use to make sure that the data is very, very accurate. So the data is used by salespeople, marketing, procurement suppliers, and, for, and more. We're going to use just this one scenario in this, in this screencast, this one uh, aspect of the many different data sets that Dun & Bradstreet makes available. So if you're not familiar with the Windows Azure Marketplace, we'll be uh, going there in just a minute. This is a website that Microsoft uh, allows vendors to host either public data, so free for consumption, uh, public health data, for example, or also commercial data that is sold by the record count, so X amount of dollars or cents per each record retrieved. So you can browse data there. You can try it out, usually for a free or a low cost. You can consume it in various applications, as we'll be doing here, or you can even sell some of your data there. So uh, the interaction is via direct exploration in that website, via Excel or Power Pivot, for some services via SQL Server Data Quality Services, and there is direct API access as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this specific new offering that Dun & Bradstreet has for data quality services. It's called the Company Cleanse and Match Service. So I'm going to navigate over to the data market here, and I've already signed in, um, and I have signed up for this service. Now you'll notice the pricing for the service is over to the right, and I've uh, taken advantage of a special offer that Dun & Bradstreet has for people who want to try this service out. It's a greater number of records. Um, if you email them, and I'll give you the email address at the end of the screencast to get the promo code, then you can try out 800 records using data quality services. Now the important information about any of the data sets is what information is required to be uh, supplied and what information will be returned. So you can see at the very bottom here that the required values are the company name, the country, how many suggestions you want, the level of confidence, and the state. There's other optional information that you can uh, supply, but uh, that's the required information. And then the results that you'll get are uh, a lot of rich information to uh, verify about that company, including the DUNS number, the address, zip, um, and other information as well. So this is sort of the in-out, if you will, through DQS. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is in the data market you're going to want to go to my account and you're going to want to retrieve your uh, API key because you'll need that to configure DQS. Now I've done that in advance of the screencast to set that up. So you'll need to do a couple configuration steps. You'll need to get an Azure Marketplace account which is free. You'll need to email the address that I uh, give to you at Dun & Bradstreet to get an activation code. Sign up for the service which will be free so long as you use 800 records and then you need to get your API key, which you'll enter into um, uh, data quality services. So to that end, I'm going to switch over to DQS, and I'll show you that once you get the, your API key, that you would go to the configuration, and you would put in the API key. Now, if DQS is a new service to you, uh, at the end of the screencast, I have 11 um, uh, other screencasts that you can watch to understand about the DQS service. From a high level, um, let me just say close here. Um, this is a Windows client that is installed optionally as part of SQL Server 2012, and there's three parts to working with DQS. There is not yet an API, so you'd be using this client or you would be using an SSIS task. The first part is to create a knowledge base, and the second part is to use that knowledge base as a basis for cleansing or 
uh, improving the quality of information of a current data set. Now the output of this is a new listing of suggested uh, improved values. So for example, if you had incomplete addresses, it would be hopefully the full complete address for your particular business. Now DQS does not ever modify the source data. It's very important that you understand that. And it's designed to be used by subject matter experts as well as uh, DBAs and you know, data professionals. So to get started, what I've done is I've created a new knowledge base, and that's down here. And I'm going to go into domain management. And again, if all these terms are new, you might want to take a look at some of my other videos. And basically what this is, is a list of companies along with their address information. And you can think of this uh, uh, structure as a, a big spreadsheet, if you will. Now, in order to work with the DQS service, you might remember that Dun & Bradstreet requires some values. So what I've done is I've created a composite domain by clicking the composite domain button that consists of name, country, and state. So now if I switch to that domain, you'll see that I have um, the company name, the country, region, and the state, which are the required values. Then the second thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to the reference data. And um, what I've done is, and I'll click Browse, is I have selected the Dun & Bradstreet Cleanse Match Format. Now you'll see that there are some other APIs that show up here because these are services that I'm subscribed to in the data market that could work with DQS. And you'll see over on uh, the left here, I have the schema, which is uh, the required schema from Dun & Bradstreet. So I need the company name, with mandatory, it's the M, country and the state, and then I map that in my incoming schema um, to these re required values. So what's going to happen here is when I run a process, my information is going to be sent to Dun & Bradstreet for uh, verification. And then incomplete records will be completed using the VAIR database and their uh, matching algorithms. And then that information will be made available in the list. Um, that's the output. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And you can see that I have some other settings that I can configure here in this interface. So I can set the autocorrection threshold, the number of suggested candidates, and the minimum confidence. And then if I scroll down, you can see that I've got the URI, which is automatically populated just by putting in the API key. Then I have the schema shown here. And then I can click Finish. And what this will do so this will give me the option to either save this knowledge base for further work, adding further rules or further sample data, um, or I can publish it. Now knowledge bases are single user, so once this thing is published, then I can use it for data cleansing. So now to use this knowledge base, including the Dun & Bradstreet data, in a cleanse project, I would say New Data Quality Project and I would give it a name, and I'll just say test for screencast. And then I would use my knowledge base that I created, the DQS test, just a sample one, and you can see there's my um, composite domain, and notice that I'm working with cleansing, which is um, identifying incorrect information, filling in incomplete information, as opposed to matching, which is looking for duplicate information. So in this box, I can select the data that I want to cleanse. I can either pick SQL Server or I can pick Excel. I'm going to pick an Excel file. And I'm going to browse out. And notice I have two different versions of this file. Um, DQS supports the XLS format only. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And then I'm going to um, select the information that is encapsulated here. And of course, I could match more, but I'm just trying to make a really short, quick demo so you can understand how this works. And then I'm going to say Next. And then I'm going to start the cleansing. Now what's happening here is the information from the knowledge base, the domain rules, which are like constraints, you know, whether you're going to have capital letters, two letter state abbreviations, so on and so forth, what is correct sample data, in addition to the Dun & Bradstreet data is being used to look for recommended values. So you can see inside of here we've got the cleansing going on. For a company, we have some information 
um, coming back saying that all the companies appear to be correct based on the information that was provided. Then we have the country, no um, considerations met there. And again, this is a really simple example. So I didn't put any additional information, just looks like um, you know three columns. This is not really reflective of the complexity of the real world, just to kind of show you the mechanics of this. And then the state, we have some corrected and suggested values. Now the way DQS works, if you're not familiar, is once the, the um, data mining algorithm runs, then basically at each level it shows you what um, it found so that a human can review this before the list is output. Because I can say that's just wrong, but Intel is correct and Google is correct. And then you can see how the records will move here. Same thing here in countries. What happens is I get this output and it'll actually say what caused the modification, whether it was from the knowledge base, whether it was from Dun & Bradstreet correcting, and I can put, or whether the user modified it. And I can put this out to a CSV file, Excel file, or SQL Server, and then the DBA can use this information to go back and physically correct the information in the uh, database. So the idea here is that it's a real simple way to integrate the richness of the Dun & Bradstreet data set inside of DQS, or like I had mentioned, DQS can be encapsulated in the SIS, SSIS task processes. So um, I encourage you to try it out. It's a new piece of functionality. A couple references that I have for you, I'll just uh, show them and then I'll give you the URLs. So uh, there's the Data Quality Services team blog uh, where they just wrote, uh, Welly just wrote this up, uh, basically the same steps that I just did inside of here. And then also I have a series of screencasts on data quality services if this is new to you. They're like five minute screencasts. I have um, 11 of them. I think one of them is an hour long. So I've got this information all uh, together here. So to get started, you'd want to email to dnb underscore ms underscore partnership underscore core team at dnb.com to get your promo code and then follow the steps in the screencast and uh, try out this new functionality. This is Lynn Langett for All Things Data. Have a great day.